Hi students, let us see next sorting technique. Insertion sort algorithm. This insertion sort algorithm is a simple algorithm. Okay. It takes elements one by one from the unsorted list and insert that elements in their correct position in the sorted list. Okay. This insertion sort algorithm works by taking elements from the list from the list one by one and inserting them in their correct position into a new sorted list so it takes elements from the list one by one and inserting that elements in their correct position into a new sorted list okay so this insertion sort algorithm takes the elements from the unsorted list one by one and insert that elements at its correct position in the sorted list okay so let us see the pseudo code if it is the first element it is already sorted see here this is the unsorted array in this array if it is first element it is already sorted okay let us assume this first element is a sorted element okay so these are unsorted elements so if it is first element then it is already sorted okay so this element is sorted because this is first element okay so it is already sorted in second point pick the next element okay pick the next element so take the next element okay which element two this is the next element compare with all elements in the sorted sublist compare with all elements in the sorted sublist so this element is sorted these elements are not sorted okay unsorted elements so compare this second element with all elements in this sorted sublist sorted sublist means what this number okay so compare these two elements okay so which one is greater this five which one is smaller two so you have to insert this two here in the sorted list okay because five is greater than two so you have to insert this two here okay see the next point shift all the elements at its correct position in the sorted sublist okay first take the elements from the unsorted sublist and compare that element with the sorted elements and place that element its correct position in the sorted sublist okay insert next element two five these are the sorted list okay next write the unsorted elements three eight nine okay next take the next element three okay you have to insert this element in the sorted list here okay next take next element and insert that element in the sorted array at its correct position so repeat the same procedure until all the elements in a list is sorted okay so let us see one example then you clearly understand about the insertion sort algorithm take some elements these are unsorted elements you have to arrange these elements in ascending order which means in sorting order using insertion sort algorithm so let us see that okay so in insertion sort algorithm you have to insert the element one by one okay now let us assume the first element is 44 okay so this first element is now sorted okay let us assume this 44 is a sorted list of item okay so next write the remaining elements So now we inserted the element 44 okay. At first we inserted the element 44 okay. So this is the pass 1 which means this is the iteration 1 okay. So let us assume this red colored elements are sorted subarray and this green colored elements are unsorted subarray okay. So this is sorted this is unsorted. So after pass 1 you have to insert the second element what is the second element 16 so insert 16 okay compare this 
44 and 16 which one is greater 44 is greater this is the smallest value so you have to write this 16 here and shift this element here okay so now these are the sorted elements and the remaining elements are unsorted okay this is the past two after past two insert next element 83 okay next element insert 83 so compare these three values which one is higher this is this is smaller okay so write 16 44 and 83 next write the remaining elements so this is the past three so after past three insert next element what seven seven insert this element okay so compare which one is smaller seven okay seven here and shift other elements here 16 here 44 here 83 so write the remaining elements okay so this is the past four okay after past four insert the next element okay 67 insert 67 so this is the 67 okay the 67 is greater than 44 and smaller than 83 so this will come here okay so we have to write 7 16 44 and next the 67 and 83 okay next write the remaining elements okay so this is the past 5 so after past 5 insert next element insert next element is what 21 so 21 is insert 21 so compare this 21 with the sorted elements 21 is greater than the 16 and smaller than 44 okay so you have to insert this 21 between these two elements okay so write 7 16 next 21 next 44 67 83 Next, write the remaining elements. So, this is the pass 6. So, after pass 6, insert next element that is 34. 34. So, compare this 34 with these elements. This 34 is greater than 21 and smaller than 44. So, you have to insert here. Okay. So, 7. 16 21 and 34 44 67 83 and write the remaining elements 45 and 10 so this is the past 7 after this past 7 insert next element which one is next element 45 45 so compare this 45 with the sorted elements. This 45 is greater than 44. So you have to insert this 45 here. Okay. 7, 16, 21, 34, 44. Next to this 45. Next 67, 83. Remaining element is 10. This is the 8th pass. Okay. After pass 8 insert next number insert 10 okay 10 so now you have to insert 10 so 10 is greater than 7 and smaller than 16 so you have to insert 10 between 7 and 16 okay so 7 10 and next 16 21 34 44 45 67 83 so now you can see here all the elements are arranged in the sorting order finally we got the sorted array okay see here this algorithm uses n minus 1 number of passes to get the final sorted list n minus 1 means what n means number of total elements okay total elements 
Number of total elements is what? Nine elements. So, n minus 1 means 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. Okay. So, this algorithm uses n minus 1 number of passes to get the final sorted array. Final sorted array. Okay. So, see here number of elements 9 that is n okay that is n so n minus 1 means 9 minus 1 8 so we have to complete n minus 1 number of passes to get the final sorted array okay here n minus 1 means 8 so you can see here here after completing pass 8 we got the sorted array okay n minus 1 passes which means 8 passes so after 8 passes, after 8 iterations, we got the final sorted array. Okay. So this is the way you have to do the insertion sort. Okay. So this is about insertion sort algorithm. This is very important question. So study well for your exam. Thank you.